hello everyone to this new video and this time uh, again we are upgrading and in the same time a little bit simplifying previous scripts today we will talk about this legend on multiple sheets script so i did receive an email that the script doesn't work in the revit 2022 originally i did create this script to work uh, inside the revit 2020 I think that this script was created like three years ago because I cannot open two dynamos from the same Revit version. I did open over here in the Revit 23 uh, this old uh, script and uh, below uh, this is the modified script uh, and this is the dynamo from the Revit 2022. So I want to compare now those two scripts and to tell you which things I did modify. Uh, so first things first, just by uh, looking at those two scripts, you can see that this entire part over here, I did replace with two nodes. I did also simplify this part over here. Over here, I think that I didn't uh, change anything. And also this logic part, over here I did delete entirely and at the end I did add one additional node. So what was the problem with this script? First things uh, which did present a problem and uh, the node because uh, the entire script didn't work in the Revit 2022 is this viewport create. For some reason inside uh, this dynamo for Revit 2022 this node even though i did install this package didn't work and also what the user did have as a problem when he did open dynamo script in the revit 2022 because when the script was created in some version of revit and then you open the script with some different version of revit usually those drop down values will change and then instead of uh, over here expecting views and over here sheets you will have some different uh, categories over here and instead of this node over here now we are using native Revit node so there is no need in this script to install uh, this package anymore so we did replace this node and in order to prevent these situations uh, for this upper part, for this entire part over here, I did replace it with the Python script. I will show it later. Uh, but for this now, because it will also present some problems in the future, did go with the category by name. So over here I did hard-coded uh, the category. So now if you open this script in the Revit 2020 or Revit 2024, it will stay the same. Over here we have a text for the sheets. Now this node will convert this text to category and it will proceed further. You will not have any more this kind of problems that uh, this drop down will show something else. So those are like two big things that I did change. Also the user did request, uh, since we are upgrading, that we also add the possibility that we insert a Keynote legend. This old script was unable to uh, insert Keynote legend. Uh, this Modified script is able to insert keynote legend and also it is able to uh, add schedules to the to the sheet. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this part over here. Previously, we uh, we would read all the views, then we would filter all uh, the views which uh, are legends, and then we will present over here those views as elements and also their name uh, as a keys over here now and yes one more thing so now we are using only data shapes in order to have user interface uh, clockwork and this written package uh, are not needed anymore uh, so for this part over here now everything is uh, in this python script why because uh, over here even though i did use so many unnecessary nodes three years ago um, we did have a simple problem from a list of the views, we needed to list all the legends. But now since we want to add that uh, possibility that the user can uh, also insert keynote legend, 
uh, keynote does not belong to the view keynote belong to the schedules so now we will need basically to duplicate uh, those nodes and I didn't want to create like uh, I don't know 10 new nodes I did create Python code which will basically show us uh, all legends as a views and schedules and the keynote legends the reason why this node will also show schedules uh, it is because I didn't find any uh, straightforward solution in order to filter keynote from the schedules uh, you can say that okay for the filter we can use that name keynote but if the user uh, rename that legend uh, this filter would not work so that is why I will show uh, all the schedules uh, in those schedules you will find keynote and also uh, I will show you the legends and you can pick whatever you want from from this Python uh, down here yes I did replace uh, this part over here uh, this is not needed so experience from three years ago was like this I did have so many unnecessary nodes by simple uh, get parameter by value you will straight away get a uh, sheet number you don't need to split uh, replace and so on and so on so we will have uh, those sheet numbers straight away let's run the script just to see the values so user interface did remain the same this is a keynote legend um, the Python also reads schedules and uh, those are legends let's say that we want to go let's say that we want to go with the key uh, keynote legend let's say that we want to add uh, this keynote legend to the sheet number one and two set values now just in order to show you what the script uh, did over here so over here I did create keynote legend and uh, keynote legend it is in this uh, legend field but is uh, it is actually a schedule and with the script we did say that we want to add that keynote schedule to uh, this sheet number one and two so that is what the script did that python node also did read the schedule and it did read those two legends okay let's now just follow the values so sheet to the category now all elements of categories we have three sheets over here so straight away we will get uh, our numbers we will deliver those numbers and actual elements to the data shapes user interface over here python script will give us the names for the uh, schedules keynotes legends and the legends and over here we will have elements and uh, over here we will pick up the names over here we will pick up the elements and we will again deliver that to the data shapes user interface and okay so over here we need to read what the user choose the user choose keynote legend and the user choose some two sheets where we will, where he or she wants to add over here we have the same sliders in order to set the position but we do not have any more this logic this logic uh, previously did check uh, on which sheet you wanted to insert uh, those legends but that is not needed anymore because we will deliver elements to the uh, data shapes so i did delete this entire logic over here and now uh, what is needed in order to add uh, keynote legends or schedules to the sheets is this node over here which didn't exist in the previous version so if you want to add like standard legends we can also run that script so let's just set this to false and let's run this again so let's say that we want to run hvac legend on all sheets for example okay so uh, now we have hvac legend we have all our sheets this is the native uh, node in dynamo and this node did add those legends to the sheets but in case that you want to add keynote or if you want to add schedule 
then this node will not do anything basically it will um, uh, it will return null values and this node will then pick up all those information and it will add keynote or schedule to uh, the sheets and basically that is the entire script uh, regarding the python again for schedules you can additionally maybe set some filter that will filter only the keynote do not use name because if somebody renames that keynote legend you will not catch that legend that is it thank you for watching bye